when you're digging, you're living. Everything else is just waiting. That really inspires me. You can get the mud out of these cavities. There could be diamonds in there. This has been known for hundreds of years, and they use the same method at the Crater Diamonds to get these centers of heavy minerals. Two diamonds on one flip. This is insane. First time anybody has ever held this diamond. It's over billions of years old. And with the naked eye, the yellow one is pink. Look right there, look how it's pink. Unreal. That is so awesome. What's up everybody? I'm back at the Crater Diamond State Park. It's July 14th, 2021. That's about 8.15 in the morning. I just checked the north wash. I'm looking for gravel that was left over from people washing. Seeing some small piles. So that's stuff I don't want. But yeah, you can come here in the morning before anybody gets here or gets back to where they were working because somebody may show up right here to get back to their spot that they're working on. But they're not here right now. And I see some heavy minerals in that. Looks like they worked it pretty fine, but I'm probably gonna scoop all that up and save it. And I'll rework it. Wow, look at that diamond they left. Hmm. I guess I'll keep that. Here's a small pile. So there's a pile way down there and here's a little bit right here. That looks like it's been cleaned out pretty good. I don't see any uh, heavy minerals, not much gravel. If the gravel's gone, they probably took most of the centers. Here's some material. Yeah, I don't see any gravel in that either. Yesterday, I probed an area and found some really good gravel. Just a small strip. I need to get down there and get that small strip. It could be five buckets. It could be 30 buckets at my cage getting all the tools that i'll be needing today I've got a few buckets on my bucket rack yes that's handmade this time of year you definitely want to get some type of canopy and this is a must for the summertime digging oh that feels so good and like i said if you need any equipment Below. so yeah we got the fan that's gonna help so much especially when i'm down in a hole it's like 140 degrees down there you're sweating you got snot running out your nose into your mouth you got sweat going into your ear hole it's terrible down there so this will definitely help blow all that away from my face man the wagon is loaded down i still gotta put the canopy on but we got the d-handle shovel the long handle shovel the slat board and my custom fork that I use to get the mud off my shovel and help work gravel layers. Canopy set up. I'm gonna be digging right there where my shovel is and where I've already started. If you remember, We've already seen that water bottle. So somebody dug that water bottle up out of this hole right here. So somebody's been digging right there. They didn't get much because I don't leave much behind. Thin. Well, that's it. So I'm at the gravel over here. It's not even 10 o'clock, and I can start filling up some buckets with gravel. Over here it's a little deeper though. You know, I've got several feet to go yet. And over here it's not too deep. There it is. 
foot down. So yeah, I'm at the gravel. Try to get 20 buckets. I gotta get all this fluff out of here yet. Let's get down here and take a look at what I'm talking about. And right there is the layer that's popping out some gravel. There's a big chunk of jasper. Another rock. Some more jasper. Yeah, starting to see some gravel. Dark rocks. Yep, I'm here. There's some baby poop. Lots of clay. That's all clay. <laughs> to think that there's no diamonds in the clay, you got. Uh, you need to go back to your uh, whoever taught you how to diamond mine. <laughs> there's gravel in it. There could be diamonds in it. Because the diamonds got trapped in the gravel. If the diamonds were in the lamprite, would be digging out the lamprite. There wouldn't be any lamprite out here. There would be nothing but gravel, but it's the complete opposite. We have to dig down deep like this to get gravel in the summertime. Unless we're getting 10 inch rain. If we're getting a 10 inch plus rain, yeah, there's going to be gravel to scoop up on the search field. But in the summertime, it's thin picking. That's why we dig holes to get our gravel. We're spending thousands of dollars to do this. We need diamonds. Oh, hang on, let me turn my fan off. Ah, I bet that feels good. I am down at the gravel, the first layer, and it's like blue and green looking and like yellow. But they're just all kinds of there's gravel in it. size of that rock. Some red jasper. It's a huge chunk of jasper. Look at that jasper. I think it's humongous. You almost need to put that in your bucket. See how there's small rocks stuck to it? easily be a diamond stuck to this and if this rock has cavities they could be up inside that cavity this is a broken piece off of a huge jasper another foot of this out to get to that crunch that I'm looking for I don't think this is the crunch all I can do is get my probe and go through this layer and see if I'm looking for some crunch that I couldn't even hardly get the probe to go through that just doesn't look like it's gonna be it but that does look pretty good and it's worth putting in buckets and washing it separate from the next layer that way you know where the diamonds are coming from because there's multiple layers of gravel when you're at the crater of diamonds and not all the gravel layers contain diamonds you could wash 300 buckets of some material and never get a diamond well, I tell you what, this is probably the hardest thing I've ever done. You think you're some type of a prospector or miner or gym tracker? You're nothing until you come out here and do what I'm doing. This is where the real work is. It's not in 60 degree weather, surface hunting, digging down four feet in soft material, getting your gemstones. This is where it's at. Until you have done this, you can't really call yourself a prospector or a miner. I hate to say it. Even the gold miners. You know, we are limited on time here. It takes a lot of money. And you gotta have really good health. If you don't have any of those, you will not be able to be a diamond miner. And we are at that layer. I had to get a, about another foot out. Maybe another foot there. I 
it's down there still but get that other foot out and I should be at nothing but solid gravel so I better get back to work I thought I was there about an hour ago but I have hit the gravel that I was probing for check it out I can I can't even pierce into this stuff crazy I'm gonna work on getting this gravel busted up put it in the buckets rock down there can't even it turns out there's a huge conglomerate I mean this thing could be like that my biggest one I've ever dug up I don't know this thing's huge but that's what that noise is oh, it's big Let's see if we can get this conglomerate out of the way it's not even wanting to budge some weird gravel I'm not sure what's going on down here I can't find the small crunchy stuff I probed out this big conglomerate kind of slowing me down. What the heck? Yeah, this conglomerate is humongous. All right, it's coming out. Check this conglomerate out. And all of this is a conglomerate. See, there's some jasper. There's another jasper. Crazy. That's the biggest one I've ever dug up, I believe. I haven't got it out yet. I've got some big ones at the house. We'll take a look at all my conglomerates I've been saving. Ugh, there it is. Coming out. There it is. Ooh, oh, got, got me in the face with that shovel. And these things are very heavy. I really need both hands. Oh my gosh. Look at that conglomerate. Look at that conglomerate. That's the biggest one. The conglomerate is like natural concrete. It's all the jasper fused together with iron. And I've had several experts tell me it's not worth busting up. There's no diamonds in this conglomerate specimens. They're just not in it. So you gotta understand this place is over 4,000 degrees all right a lot of things happen but i need to get this out of my hole and get back to trying to find that gravel can i pick this thing up oh yeah well, that's the thing there could be diamonds stuck to this though whoa So I got the conglomerate out of the way, and that's where my gravel is. Tons of gravel under there. Time to get to work. Well, the gravel turned out to be a lot deeper than I expected. There are multiple layers, and I must have felt those other layers, and there just wasn't much gravel. But I'm at least at the four, 
I'm about four feet down. But you can just hear it. Hear all that? Sometimes this fork really helps in this situation where it's tight. Down here working on trying to bust this gravel up it's like concrete look at my scooper it's all banged up and dented in some of the most compact gravel i've dug in i've got 10 buckets filled up i'm just going to try to get 12 buckets it's getting harder and harder to work in being so narrow if i can get 12 buckets that's a plus my best was four diamonds out of 12 buckets. That'd be cool if I could beat that record in this material right here. gravel layer is so thick I can't even get my fork to go in it. Oh, dang. Oh. Two more buckets. I can't feel my hands. I'm cramping up. Digging for diamonds. When you're digging, you're living. Everything else is just waiting. That really inspires me. Oh, almost got stuck. And Diamond Miner Ivans get stuck in this hole upside down. I tell you, these last two buckets are brutal. That's it, 12 buckets and time to fill in the hole. Oh man, I've been doing about two buckets, take a break, drink five gallons of water, come back down here, chip up some gravel, get a bucket or two, safety meeting.
bucket. You're ready to haul to the cage. Won't go to that cage by those trees. And this gravel looks amazing. We've got small gravel, which is a good, good to see versus the last hole. I wasn't even really seeing any little pieces of gravel at all, but you know, here we have some pieces. Yeah, it's looking really good. Different. I've never been in this type of gravel before. Hopefully this will definitely pay out. Two years ago, that would have been eight feet down. But since the crater removed three to four feet, I didn't have to dig that far, but it's definitely some deep ore that hasn't been dug in in a very long time. I didn't see any trash, no artifacts, just this huge conglomerate on top of all of the gravel. And that's a heavy indicator. <laughs> that thing's about 80 pounds. What's up everybody? It's now day three at the Crater Diamonds. I'm at the South Wash getting set up for the day. I'm gonna get this material washed from the hole. And man, that gravel was so compact. There was big gravel and there was little gravel. Here's the big conglomerate. You can see this just full of mud. They could have a diamond packed in the mud in these cavities of the conglomerates. There's no diamonds in conglomerate, but there could be a diamond stuck to the mud that's attached to the conglomerate. I'm gonna get all this stuff out of my cage. I can hear thunder in the background. It's about 75 degrees. It's July 18th, and it's just a very mild summer and we are very thankful for this thank you lord it's been a blessing having some cooler weather out here it gets really hot out here to where i almost had a heat stroke the other day i'm not gonna lie i could see the bumps forming on my arms i was about to pretty much faint but i got in the shade started drinking water and i seemed to come out of it all right i'm gonna get these buckets there's the buckets you see how the water has washed some of the mud down and we can see the gravel and man that stuff is amazing check out that gravel it's not bleached or nothing and that's dried and it is not bleached so that material is definitely some virgin gravel that the early mining companies left me And I have the conglomerate, two buckets. Man, that stuff is amazing. We've got diamonds. I can just look at that and tell. That's some good stuff. All right, got one level up to the wash station. I'm gonna get these. This is the last, oh, here's one. That's from the hole. The buckets underneath are from the south trench and it's the material with all the red jasper, red agate, red conglomerate. I didn't see very many small rocks in that material but uh, some of the best gravel I've ever seen. And that may be what has the big diamonds. Can't wait to go through all of that. And then about five, six feet away, I got this material and it's completely different. Lots of red jasper, still different. It all changes down there. Oh. 
All right. The rain is on its way. This will keep me busy for a while. I got the conglomerate soaking right now in the top classifier. Oh, you can hear the rain. Hear it? That's not wind. That's rain. <laughs> Whew, just in time. I need an empty bucket. Here's one that was left here from uh, overnight. Get some water. Here it comes. And I almost let the windows crack in my truck and something told me it could rain. Here's the big conglomerate soaking right now. I'll let this soak for a little bit. I'll flip it over, let that side soak. Then I can start cleaning out the cavities. I don't have a brush. I don't have any type of little picks to clean with. So I'm just going to do my best with my gloves. That is so awesome to see. We love seeing conglomerates come out of our holes especially when they're about 60, 70 pounds. This is the type of rain we need to get the gravel moving. If we could do this for about eight hours, there will be so much gravel out there to scoop up. Everybody could get gravel. But if it stops, that's not going to do it. But right now it's doing it. conglomerate I'm just uh, getting all the mud out kind of and see how it's exposed all these rocks which is jasper 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 all that's jasper fused with iron all right and I mean there's been a lot of people that have broke into these and no diamonds have ever been found there's never been a diamond just sitting right there but it's really good to have a brush for these all types of cavities. Feel that mud coming off right there. Cleaned up the best I can. That is awesome. Man. Here's the other side. There's a couple large pieces of red jasper. This is really cool. I'm using this rock to get down in these cavities and get the mud out of these cavities. There could be diamonds in there. I'm glad I have a heavy duty classifier to hold this 60 pound rock. It's not going to mess up my wire mesh at all. If you try to do that with the classifiers in town, they're probably going to break on you because it's cheap material those cheap classifiers won't last two days out here if you dig what i dig in where the diamonds are you can go work all the lamp right you want it should be all right probably won't ever get a diamond either first bucket gravel looking good not a whole lot of red jasper but there's, there's some Seeing a lot of bigger, look at all these bigger rocks. Look at all these bigger pieces of jasper and conglomerate. I'm gonna throw all these bigger rocks out and I'm try to save all this medium gravel to see if I have a big diamond. Well, the rain let up. It was coming down pretty good. Now it's time to. Get my scooper, which I forgot to grab. I'll use this to scrape the bottom of my bottom classifier and it lets me know what kind of heavy minerals I collected without making centers. So here's the bottom classifier. Looks like some lamprite maybe. But it's just full of gravel. Let's go ahead and scrape it. And yeah, just more gravel. 
maybe some spinel, some hematite, darker rocks. It's about 10 o'clock and it's coming down again. If you keep it up, that'll definitely help get some gravel moving. Right now it's washing all the silt off. And if it can get all the silt off, then it can start working on getting the gravel to build up in spots. And that's what we chase to get the diamonds. Finally, we have a piece of agate. It's burned up a little bit, but it's still a piece of agate. And I mean, the gravel has not let up yet. Been seeing quartz on the top classifier. That's good. Red jasper showing up. All the buckets are washed. Here's my concentrate. A lot more out of this layer versus the other hole. A lot more concentrate out of this hole versus the other hole. And I got a really beautiful piece of agate out of the last bucket. Check that one out. Awesome. wrap it up here at the crater diamond state park i'm working on getting my wagon out of here nice and muddy loaded down here's the concentrates and i have four more buckets to wash i didn't get them all done all right let's head back to texas and see if we got a diamond time to get the material from the hole centered up using the heavy mineral concentrator that's what that is that just We'll take your heavy minerals, whether you're in Texas, California, the Crater Diamond, you can take material and use this to get your heavy minerals to make a center like this. It's not rocket science. This has been known for hundreds of years. And they use the same method at the Crater Diamonds to get these centers of heavy minerals. And this area right here that I'm working in is a well-known spot from a famous miner named James Archer. His son pointed this spot out to me. I got that right there in just eight buckets. And I have a little bit more to flip. So I could very well see a diamond out of that. His son got a diamond over there out of his dad's hole. His first diamond, actually. And it was a 98 point, almost a carat. So I was definitely a getting some material from that spot, my last trip. And you can see the difference from the material. That's just scraping the surface in that spot James liked to dig in. And this is from digging my last hole that we just watched. And you can see how that material is nothing like this material. This material is basically tailing piles. That's what the diamond miners didn't want back in the day. And they threw all that back out in the field. This is material that has never been looked through. And I have a chance of getting a really big diamond out of this stuff. This is where we get 10, 15 diamonds out of one hole. A well-known miner that has found hundreds of diamonds in just a few years recently, Adam Harden. He dug a hole about four feet down. He got 28 diamonds out of that hole. 28 diamonds. That's why we dig holes. I could have 50 diamonds over here. That's what I love about the crater diamonds. The surface can pay off. 
just as much as the deep gravel. And you didn't have to work as hard. Anybody can go out and get centers like this. You just gotta go fill up your buckets and get them washed through the classifiers. The right set of classifiers. Round two, and we have two diamonds on one center. First time for me. That is something I've always been wanting to do. Have more than one diamond on my center. And right here, I have two diamonds. First, I noticed that one right there. Yep, that's a diamond right there. I noticed that one. See it right there? Right there at the end of my spoon. And then I was looking for another one, hopefully, and right here, it appears to be a flawless yellow diamond. Oh, that is amazing. I can tell that's gonna be a beautiful yellow diamond. Two diamonds, there could be more in here. That's just what I see. Definitely have a yellow right there and a white right there. This is so cool. All right, let's go ahead and scoop these diamonds out. Got the spoon. Oh, you see how that just completely buried? Look at that diamond down in there. That's why we have to use a spoon. All right, I got the diamond in the spoon. Get some of these other rocks out. I'm gonna try to keep that diamond in the spoon while I get this yellow diamond. There's the yellow diamond. Oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Look at that yellow diamond. Oh my gosh, it got bigger as I went to dig it out. That could be a 10 point. Oh my gosh, that is unreal. Look how clean that yellow diamond is. I'm gonna try to get this diamond. I like to fill them. Ooh, it's nice and smooth. Got a rock in there with it. There we go. So I have this yellow diamond in my fingers. First time anybody has ever held this diamond. It's over billions of years old. Look at that diamond. Look how clean that yellow diamond is. Incredible. It appears to be flawless. Yep, I'm saying flawless. I don't see anything with the naked eye. Perfect skin. Oh, why can't that bend my two carat? Either way, it's beautiful. Check those diamonds out. Man, isn't that awesome? Look at that yellow diamond. Woo, it's got a nice facet right there. Ooh, almost lost it. Let's take a look at it under the digital microscope. Wow, this diamond is amazing up close with the digital microscope. And if it wasn't for the few spots of carbon right there in the center, and when we flip it over, you can see some black spots internally. Other than that, as you can see, the skin and the rest of the diamond is perfect, naturally faceted. It's a lot of fun when the diamonds are this beautiful. You can turn them over and it's facet after facet. No flaws whatsoever. And when they look like this naturally, it's best to leave them just like this. You do not want to get this diamond cut. All right, I got a little bit more material to work. This is round two. There's all the material from the surface. Didn't see nothing in that, but yeah, I've got maybe three more. This material has so much gravel, I gotta go a little at a time. Because there's just so much gravel in here. Those diamonds will get trapped and hung up and won't get into the center if I don't do it right. Round number three. Nothing on that one or the next one. But this one right here, diamond number three. And right there at the end of my spoon is the diamond. It's a beautiful formation. It's going to be a white diamond. You can see it right there pretty good. 
Let's take the spoon here, the good old handy dandy spoon. You don't wanna use tweezers. These diamonds are very slippery and you'll lose diamonds. So you wanna scoop it up in your spoon just like that. And there it is. The diamonds in the spoon. Man, that's a beautiful diamond. This is the third diamond so far and I have a little bit more material to work. I've got a yellow diamond and two white diamonds out of this 14 buckets. See if we can get that in the sun. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful rounded shaped diamond. It's got some carbon internally. So it's not a flawless diamond. Be some inclusions. Let's take a look at this diamond under the digital microscope. After studying the diamond through the microscope, it appears to have a brown color, not white, or chocolate, as some like to call the browns. All I can do is take this diamond back to the crater of diamonds and have the park staff inspectors check it really well and they will tell me exactly what color the diamond is and i will also get a certification card proving it's a real diamond you can see there's lots of carbon and inclusions in this diamond but it's nicely rounded and there's facets on all sides which makes it a gem quality diamond you can see right there that end got really hot and melted since the crater was over 4,000 degrees, most of the diamonds disintegrated to nothing. There's the three diamonds, clearly a brown, white, and a yellow. One right there is gem quality. This one's an industrial grade, and that one's gem quality. It's just loaded with carbon inclusions, so it's not a pretty diamond like this yellow. Check out those facets. I have the dime there just to give you a size reference. They're small, but they are pretty. We're gonna test the diamonds to see if they're gonna glow using the UV light. First, we'll test it just like this with the light on. Yep. Ooh, that one on the end's green. And with the naked eye, the yellow one is pink. Look right there, look how it's pink. Unreal. That is so awesome. The white one's blue, and this one's green. So I got two diamonds that are green under the black light. And that's my first diamond to ever glow pink using a UV light so cool so this tells me that most of the diamonds at the crater of diamonds are going to fluoresce under a uv light i have tested hundreds of diamonds and most of them will that is so cool a pink diamond it's yellow naturally but glows pink with a uv light just a little bit darker got the computer screen giving out some light but man, check out that white one. And then the middle one is the yellow turning pink. And then there's the green one. With the naked eye, you just can't compare it to the video. I wish everybody could see this. I may have to do a tour around the world using my UV light diamonds glowing in the dark. But for now, this is all we got. I'm gonna dim the computer screen. I'm gonna test and see if the diamonds will, oh gosh, I just closed the uh, computer on the diamonds. Okay, they're still there, that was dumb. <laughs> so the light's gone. Man, I need to clean this, that diamond, filthy. All right, let's see if they're gonna stay glowing. Give them a good charge with the UV light. We've seen a diamond from Tater Island 
glow for almost one minute. Will these beat the record? Whoa, cool. The green one faded quick, but the other two, the other two stayed glowing. But they don't beat the diamond from Tater Island. That thing can glow for almost one minute. Here we go. That's probably my best heart-shaped conglomerate. And if I flip it over and turn it like that, it's almost the shape of Africa, somewhat. Check out how small the gravel gets on that one. Man, that stuff is tiny. pieces of jasper and here's some bleach check out the size of this one that's a huge piece of jasper that's bleached out came down about eight feet on that one i believe me and a few people were digging a hole it wasn't the best stuff some more jaspers and here's conglomerate from wyoming Went up there in 2017, prospecting for diamonds. Right on the state line. And here's the conglomerates from the Crater Diamond State Park. All from my hole. Walking the field. And some tomatoes. That's a big one. Check that one out. Oh, that's my Oklahoma. It almost looks like Oklahoma. Several look like hearts. That's kind of a heart shape. It looks like a heart. That's a big one. That's about a 45, 50 pounder. All conglomerate from the Crater of Diamonds. And I can't forget about the little guys, all packed together. Looks like I've been digging in the present day stream and sand gravel. That's not that good. You definitely will get diamonds in this stuff, but the better gravel is up here in this green. Thank you.